No, he's not. Like he's more. Yo, whoop de whoop, back at it like crack addicts, you know what time it is. OG Samke, Big Rashid K, Masterclass Podcast Episode. The best hip hop podcast in the, SA. In SA. I felt like when you said that, do you think we may be jumping the gun? Who can you think of when it comes to hip hop podcast? I'm not talking about <laughs> podcasts in general. I'm talking about hip hop. Who can you think of? Nobody's doing hip hop podcast the way we're doing it, man. I think everyone's just covering. What's happening around the world on Twitter? But no yeah, one's every, doing hip hop pod. Everybody are like reviewing what what happened uh, the past two weeks, and 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 then do interviews. Yeah. Nobody, no, nobody does it like we do. You know what it is. Hip-hop you know what I'm podcast. saying. That's what it is, man. Yeah. How you been? Hence we call nice? it the master class, man. Facts. I've been, I've, I've, I've been good. Yeah. All good in the hood, if it's understood. <laughs> sure. Crazy week in hip hop. I won't lie to you. I'm a little bit excited that niggas is pulling out boxing gloves and fighting in the niggas clubs. Niggas is fighting. This <laughs> shit ain't dead. I'm this shit ain't dying. Fuck. Niggas is fighting, dropping albums and singles and shit. So, you know so, what I mean? So, so, so a homie of mine was telling me, a, a lady friend said that stuff like that is why corporates don't support hip hop because there's just so much violence. Like it can just pop off at any time. And you know how corporates trying to shy away from. Yeah, yeah. So the fact that hip hop and violence go hand in hand is a problem for hip hop, and that's why some people don't fuck with hip hop. SA hip hop is not violent though. But hip hop in general, you know, forget about just SA hip hop. Like we've seen it a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. People like getting in America, in, in America, it's it's most of these rappers come from gangster background. You know, mm. they from the streets. You know, most of them ha- have like murder cases. And they, they have they have, they have body counts, right, you know. Yeah. Here we have um, a bunch of softies, <laughs> trust fund babies from Woo! the suburbs Woo! who can't do shit, man. Who I fight and apologize? You. Or you wouldn't apologize for what? If you Defending myself? Fuck that! Oh, I get you, I get you. But I'm happy to see you, man. I like to see a bit of camaraderie slash fighting, you know. Hip hop events happening all over, so we're gonna see a lot of that coming. Yeah, making ma- making the headlines is good for the game. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we'll but, take it. Yeah, we'll take it. But corporates shouldn't use that excuse that hip hop is violent as not. You know, so Mizi was accused, but he has endorsements and shit for fighting. Yeah, yeah. you know, Boiti the other time was involved in a fight. Mm. She has endorsements. I That's not you. unique to hip hop. I hear you. How do you feel since we both radio heads, right? From yeah. From the jump. How do you feel about radio sort of censoring hip hop in terms of not trying to play music that is too gangster, you know, not playing music that's too vulgar, too explicit, you know? How do you feel about that? It's, it's, what is vulgar? Like even if a song is good, you know, but if I'm, if I'm talking about a hit on my track, I won't play it. You know what I mean? Like, KO has a song. I, th- I think it's called Mission Statement on Skanda Republic 2, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, where in the song, he speaks about a heist that is happening. Yeah. You know, where he was involved in a heist, but he wasn't prepared for the heist. I forgot what the name of the song mm. is. But radio, Ghetto, ghetto? ghetto Stories. Ghetto stories. Yes, yeah, ghetto yeah. Stories. Shout out, shout out. Ghetto Stories. And radio won't, I think that's such a beautiful song. And it can play on radio musically. But lyrically, because they're talking about a heist, radio won't play that because it's inciting violence because hip hop is violent. Nah, never did. Mo- movies are more violent. If, if that was the case, TV wouldn't play violent movies. The violence and the sex you see in the movies, hip hop has nothing on it. You know what I'm saying? And this, this thing of using an excuse, it's people who don't understand hip hop. It's the same guy who would play on radio you know that. it's the same person that. who's gonna play on radio on radio yeah yeah you know yeah. which is just crazy be- right? yeah just because we don't have people who understand hip-hop in these positions they're gonna say no this shit like they don't even understand the context but they're playing some other dumb shit that's vulgar do you feel people who compile music on tv for music videos and for radio 
should be people that are actually on the streets and not someone who has a musical background. So, you know, if you go and study music, they yeah. teach you about chords and progressions and how that music should, should that, sound. That, 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 and, of music. And this day and age, that shit doesn't work. That's why major labels are struggling because they hire A&Rs and all these people with degrees, but they don't, they are not connected to, to the, the streets. streets. They're word, not, word, word. So, so the indies are showing majors flames. You Do, know, it's all about the have? knowledge, not about so the, the qualifications. Are you, saying, are you saying people that work at Ambitious have no musical background? They do have, not, not, not academically. Okay. They don't They're have more on the streets. More on the streets. Which is why they would know what to yes, make and they how know, to they know what, what's happening. Where? You know, hence, hence, MT was discovered by Ambitious at Kantari. Word, word. But you know, so MT was discovered by the people first, you know? By the time, Ambitious found Roll Up. Roll Up was popping. Yeah, right? it was. It was, and the same Roll Up was dropped by Universal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. because you have these student Thai niggas with degrees who don't know shit. Nah, I hear you. I hear. You. Maybe we need to get a balance, Abo. Get yeah. People who know music background, and yeah. also get people who are on the on the streets. Then we'll get better music on our TV. Yeah. And on or our else, it, it's at the, the 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 majors are gonna be the thing of the past. They're gonna die out. Think so. That take take. I, I doubt. It's gonna take a while for that to happen. Money can go so far, you know. If 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 the money that you putting, you betting on the wrong horse, mm. you're gonna lose. You know what I'm saying? Okay. They need to be connected to the culture, whether it's Amapian or hip hop, whatever that's happening on the streets. Yeah. They need to be up to date. Forget about the musical background. Forget about what sounds good. Forget about which university yeah. we're you talking went to, to. All music compilers right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? TV, radio, whatever. Yeah. ESPs, record labels. We fucking with all of y'all right now. Yeah. Let's get the class in session, fam. Let's talk about. Um, shit. All right. On my mind, I'm thinking. <laughs> 